Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark and um, I'm a little overwhelmed today. I went out to the Hecata Beach to the uh, lighthouse out on the coast today in Oregon. And I took some videos but there was a bunch of wind. I don't think they're very good. I'm going to try to post a really quick one uh, in a separate video and maybe I can attach some pictures on this if I can figure out how to do that. But it did overwhelm me and I was thinking that this is a good time for me. I always talk about EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. And I think I'm going to take us through a quick session because I really need to do some EFT to just not feel so overwhelmed by grief. I I literally was crying today uh, thinking about what we're doing to the ocean and what we're doing to our planet and feeling like there really isn't any fucking thing we can do about it. And, and I realized, you know what, there is something we can do about it. We just don't have the answers yet. And... Um, so anyways, let me get into this. EFT is helps you manage your emotions, and for me it helps me manifest solutions. And I don't know how it works. I learned it about five years ago, and it seriously works. But I need to take my glasses off, and so I can't really see, but I guess I don't need to see. Um, so when you start with an EFT session... The way I was trained is you focus on the negative things through the first round and then you do one or two rounds saying affirmations that help you um, like the best possible solutions. And then you end up affirming that you love and approve of yourself. Okay, So it's kind of like a tap along. You have to do what I do or say what I say or you can make up your own words or whatever, your own affirmations. Whatever works for you, you can do this technique. Um, the bottom line is, is when you start EFT, we're going to do a little karate chop. You tap here on your hand and you say what the situation is. And then, then we're going to tap on the top of our heads. Tap on the eyebrow, start of our eyebrow. The corner of your eye. Underneath your, on your cheekbone. Underneath your nose underneath in this little crease on your body here, underneath your lip, and then here on right here where the bones are, that's where I was trained. But people, I've seen people do it all over here, and I've heard this is a really good clearing area, like you can tap just right here to clear a lot of stuff out. And then underneath your armpit, and you just tap. So, and then you end here. And I have actually seen people do this where they tap their wrists, which I do when I'm really anxious after I do a tapping session. I repeat a positive affirmation like this, and it, I don't know, I don't know how it works, but it really works. So let's do a really quick tapping video right now about the radiation and how overwhelmed, I don't know how you guys feel, but I've been knowing about it now for two and a half, almost three years, and it's super overwhelming. Uh, especially when we look in the face of it every day Fukushima is getting worse the news is astronomically worse every day and the silence the propaganda is even getting worse and they don't care whether babies die or who dies and who's getting sick they're just lying about it all so taking full responsibility for my own well-being I went out to the coast today and even though I feel completely overwhelmed by the nuclear cartel and even though I'm feel like there's nothing I can do to stop it and this massive anxiety that paying attention to it is letting me know that we're on the road to extinction and I freak out and worry about my grandchildren and what's going to happen to them and what's going to happen to us and how's it all going to happen because the nuclear cartel just has such control over every aspect of the media, the military, I mean it's just so overwhelming. But even though I'm completely overwhelmed by Fukushima awareness and then three nuclear fucking meltdowns that are completely out of fucking control and they're going to fucking dump all that water in the ocean, even though I'm completely overwhelmed by all of that, I deeply and completely love, honor, approve, and accept myself. And I'm thinking about like how overwhelming the nuclear cartel has been and Thinking about all their lies and all the cancer and all the mutation they've given everybody and the way they're destroying the earth. 
they're, they're like this big lie that the pollution, the solution to pollution is dilution, and that's a big fucking lie when it comes to radiation. And just thinking about how overwhelming it is to pay attention to Fukushima. Like, I can't just wake up tomorrow and ignore it. Like, that's the issue. It's, I can't pretend to unknow. I can't unknow that there's three nuclear meltdowns that are being completely ignored. Sellafield, Hanford, the Whip. God knows how many other fucking plants there are that are, like, completely out of fucking control. What we hear today? There's in Kentucky or Oklahoma, some nuclear radioactivity got stolen out of a fucking truck that was sitting in a parking lot at a hotel. They had radioactive material sitting in a hotel and someone stole the fucking truck. It's so overwhelming. Going to the coast and looking at the ocean and the birds and the seals and just wondering those poor sweet little animals, our poor brothers and sisters on this planet. <sighs> I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. I choose to cope with it all. And I know that the universe supports me. And I know the universe supports life and love and truth. And I know that the universe will allow us to figure out a solution to this nuclear waste. We don't have the answers yet, but the answers are coming. And the nuclear cartel might be in complete control right now, but we deserve to take over from the nuclear cartel. We deserve a happy, healthy, prosperous life, lifestyle in a lifetime. And our grandchildren deserve to be happy. And we choose to be happy. And we choose to decide to figure out solutions and resist resentment. And we release all anger about it all. And we allow ourselves to grieve health in a healthy way and move on and figure out solutions. And I choose to be happy and learn to cope with it and learn to find solutions. And we choose to decide that we're going to find solutions. And we choose to stick together and be a content group of anti-nuke activists who put an end to nuclear, the nuclear cartel, the nuclear nightmare that's been going on on our planet. And our love, our power, our energy will find solutions and will we'll demand that the, the scientists actually find solutions. We allow the universe to open up the solutions to us and the solutions will come before the entire planet goes extinct. And the humans that are on this planet deserve to have a healthy and a happy lifestyle. And I deserve to have a healthy and a happy lifestyle. And I choose to release any sense of being overwhelmed. And I choose to focus on the solutions. And I choose to help and create solutions to the best of my ability. And to do the work that I know that I can do. And I choose to be happy and healthy. And I forgive them. And I release my anger and resentment towards them. Because that only hurts me and hurts everyone else. And I'm tired of hurting people hurting people. And I choose to be happy. And I choose to cope with it all in a healthy and happy way. And I choose to be happy. I deserve my health and wealth and happy lifestyle and I choose to allow it all to help the planet and I choose to be happy and even though I still feel overwhelmed by it all and we don't have all the solutions I choose to be happy and I choose to be part of the solution and I choose to make that energy come into our entire planet so we can resolve the issue of the nuclear waste and the nuclear mess that they've created and I choose to forgive them all and we choose to live in love and harmony and we choose to have a prosperous lifestyle we choose to be happy healthy prosperous and in harmony with each other Okay, 
So that's Lonnie's anti-nuke tapping video, you guys. It's the first time I've done like an actual tape of an anti-nuke tapping session that I've ever done. I see that I'm at 10 minutes. That's kind of like the longest I like these things to go. So I'm going to put some links up about uh, EFT. And you can use this as a tapping video or you can post your own. Maybe you can think of better affirmations to say than I did. But um, I don't know. My anxiety is less. I feel a lot better. <laughs> so it kind of worked on me. Got me so that I could smile again. So anyways, um, let's keep up the good fight, man. We got to stop these motherfuckers in their tracks and... Uh, we're, we're not going to let them win. The bottom line is there's solutions to all of this. Uh, you know, for every action, there's a reaction of equal force. So think of that. Like, for all the evil that's out there and all the lack of regard for humanity, there's an equal force of us out there who really love huma humanity, love the universe, love each other, and are willing to talk about love again and, and act loving and kind. And refuse to be malicious and refuse to focus on the harm. And we're going to focus on solutions and to the best of our ability, however that is. And we're going to create an environment so that the nuclear scientists who understand this stuff will think outside the box, be willing to break with the nuclear cartel, and start helping us and start telling us the truth and figure out how to stop these people. So... Ciao, you guys. Sweet dreams.